What's up, everybody? It's I Edit Help. Um, I'm doing another tutorial. If you remember my last Apple Motion 5 tutorial, before I get into all this, I want to wish you guys a happy Easter. I hope it was great. It's uh, over now, but um, I sure hope it was great. All you guys, I hope you had a great time. I hope you got everything you wanted in your <laughs> Easter basket. Bam. You know, this is pretty much just the best thing you could get in an Easter basket. It's an iTunes card. What can I say? I'm an Apple lover. Alright, let's get that out of the way. I want to tell you guys, my last Motion 5 tutorial was how to do um, the recording method of motion tracking. Now I'm going to show you guys the um, the easier method, but it always doesn't come out as good as it should. Um, sometimes it doesn't look too good. But um, yeah, I'll show you guys the other way to do it now. Alright. Alright, uh, you open motion, of course. Um, let that open up. Now, first we're going to need to do is we're going to record our footage. Um, I'm going to do what I did last time and track text onto my face. But now we're just going to do it with a different method. Oh, yeah. Um, yes, I'm still dressed nice. For him. I went out um, to a family member's house for Easter. So that's why I'm dressed so uh, nice. And usually I'm dressed as with really crappy stuff as of all those pictures down there. Always just wearing black t-shirts. But um, All right. I'm going to track text onto my face. Using this new method. Okay, um, you want to make sure for this effect you're moving a lot slowly. But if you're moving like this, I recommend you use the recorders effect, recorders method. You can find the recorders method on the iEdit Help channel. Just go to the channel and um, search up uh, motion tracking and then that should pop up. Alright, now you drag your footage into motion. Alright, I'm just going to track text like last time. You can drag a picture on top and track pictures. I don't care. We can do anything we want. But I'm just going to track text. Literally. As of last time. Also. Alright, I'm just going to try to edit this a little bit to look a bit cooler <laughs> pardon me I kind of have a little bit of a uh, cold right now oh that's ugly all right Whatever, I'm just showing you guys what to do, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, then when you're done, you can select the text, and then you'll get it to this. Uh, you can enlarge your text, whatever, or your picture, or whatever you're using. Um, yep, just give me one sec. <coughs> ah, sorry. Yeah, I'm still sneezing from the last episode. Alright. Drag it to where you want and make sure your timeline is in the beginning. Now here's what you're going to do. Library. Behaviors. Motion tracking. Analyze motion. Drag it onto your footage. Now you get this dot here. This dot is looking for a point of high contrast. What does that mean? High contrast is a point where there is... um lots of white and lots of black mixed together so like a grayish like color um so you're just gonna best to go onto your like nose or something make sure it's on the face if it's like over over there and if if you're filming your face and it's like over there that means the text is going to be over here while it moves with it where with the way your face is moving so basically what you really just got to do is just find a spot this looks perfect right here and you just drag it right on top now you're going to go to your inspector and hit analyze. Now it's going to draw out your pattern for you, like just like we did with the recorders method. It's drawing the pattern and it's following that one pinpoint. Oh, see, we have reached a problem. It has not been able to detect it anymore. So that means that was a bad spot. So we're going to go ahead and um, pick a different spot of contrast to use. There, that should be good. Now we'll hit analyze. 
Hopefully this works out. See, this is why I love the recorders method a lot more. You always want to hold your camera steady, too. Alright, that seems like it's catching it. But as I said, it's not very good with it. So, use the recorders method. I don't even know why I'm making this, but I... Just use the recorders method, okay? Recorders method, just go to the channel and search up motion tracking, or... Just search up I edit help motion tracking on YouTube or something, and it should pop up and say recorders method in the end. So, for really, you shouldn't be even watching this because it's not a good method, but... It helps with some things, I'll admit that. But for shots where you're moving like this, it's not very good. The shots where you have your real camera and you're moving across the ground and you want, like, text to sit on the ground, that's what this is for. But it does motion track. This seems like it might work pretty well. I'm not sure. It's captured it all pretty decently. Alright, there you go. Now your pattern is drawn. You're not done yet. It's not going to move with it. It's just showing you what the pattern to move is. Now you need to go to your library, motion tracking again, take match move, and place it onto your text or your picture or whatever you're using. Ignore the high contrast point now. Go to your inspector, and you see this here is your source. This here, or your source, is actually a drop-in menu. So you grab your analyze motion, drop it on top right there, and there you go. We now have our motion, or sorry, tracked motion. See, as I said, it's not very good. I mean, that's okay, but it's not what you want to be using. So use the recorders method, but I hope this helped you out, and I'll see you guys later. Wait, okay, make sure to leave uh, questions below, comments, uh, what you think about this. Please request. We have gotten no, requ no requests. Please leave requests if you want to know how to do something in these editing tutorials. If you want to know how to do anything and it's not on YouTube yet, we will know. We promise. Leave it below. Alright? I'll see you guys later.